Hi, Tony Bradshaw with AdSumToYourIncome.com to talk about how to make a lot of money from invention. First, I'll need to establish my credibility, then talk about the steps to invention, followed by some examples in the real world, and lastly, kind of as a bonus at the end, I'm going to share some ideas of inventions that aren't on the market yet that could be something that someone just runs with, and I'm willing to say, here, take these ideas. So let's dive in. First, who am I to talk about invention? I work as an educator, right? I, I, what connection is there to invention? Uh, for six years now, I have directed a camp of Camp Invention. So I have worked for the National Inventors Hall of Fame. As such, I've been involved in the invention process for many, many years now. Uh, this process, the, the now National Inventors Hall of Fame and their companies that are within it have an actual process. That's not the process I'm going to talk through. I've kind of made my own. I've invented my own based on it. There's some things that are similar. They have a six-step process. I've got four steps. Um, they have things spelled out even more than what I'm going into. But I do want to like give a shout out to the National Inventors Hall of Fame and state that that is where I've been involved with invention. And, and each year with it, it's been, one year it was baseball cards and the, the inventors and what they created, the person who created ice cream, the person who created the dishwasher, the person who created, it was everything to do with sports. So it was like the, the design for the TV and um, all the, inventors who are a part of that. I remember Milo T. Farnsworth TV, right? Like all these random things that I've been exposed to and, and involved in and know a little bit about how they've made their money from their inventions, right? So from all of that, I put together steps to your invention process. To what, I, what I would call steps to getting your inventions to sell. Because people will invent things and have things and create things or dream things up and then how to make the money. Okay, so these are the four steps that I say. First is make it. A lot of, as I said, have ideas. I remember um, there was one point in time where my dad was in the store and he's like, hey, I came up with that. What, whatever the item was. I don't remember what the item was, but he was saying, I came up with that. And then I'm thinking in my mind, okay, then what? And I don't ever remember him making it. I've never seen that thing around. He's very handy and makes things and can make things. Um, but in my mind, I, I've thought through and thought, okay, the reason he's not selling that is because I've never seen it actually made, whatever that was. I don't remember what the particular item was. Um, but a lot of us, we have these ideas that come to us and they just stay in the mind. And that will stay in your mind as you go to take your very last sleep, your dirt nap, nap, as my neighbor the other day called it, a dirt nap. So make it. Actually do the physical work. And there's lots of ways that you can make it. Um, first, uh, the idea comes, you might write down a quick little phrase. You might do a little sketch. You might use something to make it in the real world, an actual three-dimensional model, and then take it to the stage that it's actually made. You make the item. The second thing in the steps to making it your inventions to make money is to test it, try it. Have uh, your target audience individuals try it, test it. This testing and trying will include finding out how it does compared to its competitors or what will be its competitors. You test it, right? You don't just make up the lemonade. You're going to test the lemonade before you sell the lemonade. I highly recommend the testing stage happens and in a very thorough way so that you know what is happening both with the product and with the market. The third step is to protect your idea. Your idea um, can be protected in a number of ways. I remember someone telling me that the cheapest copyright uh, is to put something in an envelope, seal it, and send it through the mail because then you'll have an envelope that has a date stamp on it. And whatever is inside, that's sealed inside, it is evidence that you actually had this item 
before whatever a certain date, right? Because the 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 date stamp on the envelope. Anyway, um, that's maybe the first step to protect. You're going to want to look into actual serious protection of whatever it is. If if it's something that's got words, it's usually the copyright that you're going for. Um, you apply for that just so that you can say, this is my work. This is what I came up with. I wrote this song. I wrote the story. I wrote the poem. It's from me. If it's from someone else that is protected, you honor that as well. That's going to come full circle for you. It just will. And so if you are borrowing and using something that's from someone else, like if I was actually telling you the sixth step of the, what do they call the invention process? Can't be invention. Uh, it's not just the invention process. It's something the invention process. Anyway, see, I'm not even using their words, right? That's their copyright. That's their trademark. That's what they have protected for them. Um, so you protect your idea. It also kind of states that this idea is mine. So I own this, right? And then the fourth step, once we've got it made, we test it and we know it's working, the protections are in place, we move to promoting. Promote it. Promote what you have. Um, this is usually just talking about it, getting with others who talk about it. You find people who will end up promoting for you and sharing word of mouth. Uh, the marketing that's happening as you promote your invention to be having it ready to sell. If you follow these four steps, your inventions will get to the market and make a lot of money. Well, I said I'd give you some examples. I will give general examples of things that are invented, created, and can make a lot of money. I find on all of these items that you make a lot of money is because whatever you invent can be created again and again and again and again. And some of the ideas that I'll give you that could be created are items that can be invented again and again and again and again. Uh, for example, when you create something that can be reproduced, right, right now I'm curious into books uh, for educators and I'm, I'm looking at what books I'll create that educators will want to buy. And it's a lot of work to get the book done. It just is. It's, it's, it's like getting a PhD just to get a book done and have the book ready to, hand, to go into the hands of other educators. Then I'm thinking to myself, okay, that's a lot of work, but it's an invention. It's a creation. Every book is an invention. Once it's ready as the format of being a book, whether it's an electronic book or it's a book that is actually in the real world, um, they can buy your book, right? So you make it, you test it, you protect it by getting the copyright on your words and then promoting it by letting other educators know about it in the ways that we do as educators. So as you do a book and think of it as an invention, you realize you have this idea, you gotta make it. You, that making it is probably the bigger part. Testing it's important as well and knowing what else is in the market, but really just the making it. Having that, I'm going to get this done this, and you get it done. Uh, uh, so books, books are a, a, a large one. Art, and having art be able to be reproduced. And then here I'll start getting into the bonus section of some of the ideas that I'm willing to give to the world to see if they'll be invented. The ideas are of items that can be just mass produced. One I would enjoy is personal nesting dolls with my picture on the nesting doll. So I was realizing it'd be cool to load pictures of me from different ages and have nesting dolls and have it go up to me now, old, bald, gray in my beard, um, uh, and then have it go backward in time as I open up the nesting doll. I just think this would be an awesome invention. Someone could create this. Send me the link. I will buy one. <laughs> All right. I was at my parents' place, and they were commenting on how the water, the cold water, in the hot afternoon, because it gets triple digits there, comes out warm. And it doesn't come out cold out of the tap. You have to put it through the fridge. 
And I was thinking, I was like, I know that there are those instant hot water tanks that are right there at the sink that just make your water hot. Um, and it, realizing, of course, I do realize that you can get cold water out of the fridge. But, um, I mean, the opportunity, the thought of having cold water actually come out cold in a hot place. And I realize this won't sell in Alaska, not much I could try, but maybe it will. Who knows? Um, <laughs> what I'm saying is have it uh, be a cooler of the water, not just at the fridge. Like the, the shower water could come out cool instead of warm, you know, like cool water when you want cold water and it's actually really hot coming through the pipes to your place. A couple more. Pen that helps you to write as you're going along. It can guide you to do better at your cursive. Uh, edible utensils. I'm thinking this is great. Something that I can use to eat and then I can eat it. And boom, done. Cleanup is done. Maybe even the bowl can be edible. Like, mm, ah, edible utensils. Lastly, baggage that follows you. We've already got them that will roll and be right there. Now, just tell my device to keep this right here with me or tell it to stay. Baggage that will move itself and follow you as you travel. These have been some ideas of inventions that you might make and the process of how to make a lot of money. Hope you take some pieces of it and run with it. See if your luggage will keep up with you. I look forward to seeing you on the other side.